Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to today's last figure review. Uh, the figure I got up, coming up now is uh, one of my favorite Jedi's, and a figure I actually wanted for quite some time, and I have for quite some time now. Um, I got her for, as a birthday gift, well, three months back or something. Uh, I thought it was right, two months back in the start of November. Um, and she was a gift from a um, Toby Review, which is a friend of mine in real life and a fellow reviewer in here. So I uh, would like to give a big shout out to him and um, I hope you will check out his channel. I'll uh, be posting a um, link over, th right over there um, to his channel. And please do go and check him out. He's got some pretty cool figures, reviews, not just Star Wars, but uh, all kinds of stuff and stuff. Uh, well, as for the figure, the one I got was uh, Jedi Master Shark T, which is a really cool figure. Um, this one is the Revenge of the Sith version, as you can see. Let's take her off this stain here, which is a pretty cool stain, by the way. I suppose if you get more of these Revenge of the Sith figures, you can connect these stands together, and in the end, if you got them all, uh, put up some sort of scenery. Not certain, but it looks pretty cool. Might try and get them all at some point. Uh, as for the figure itself, it's really, really good. Oops. There we go. Um, <coughs> the articulation is a bit lagging. Not only a bald your neck, ball hinged shoulders, one swivel uh, elbow here, and. Um, so form there. Uh, let's see. Now chest articulation, swivel hip, ball and ball hinged knees. So there's not much articulation on him, but the detail instead is really just good. Just really, really good. It's kind of amazing. Um, she's really well painted. <coughs> and she's a Jedi we haven't really seen much. There's been really no figures of her except for this one and one from the uh, <coughs> the Attack of the Clones line. So um, I was really happy to get one. And this one is uh, the better of those two. The other one didn't have much possibility. <coughs> I don't think, by the way, her light serial, which is a full removal, I don't think the blade itself could be removed. Well, wait. The blade could be removed. Well, let's put it back in. But I tend to glue them, uh, glue them um, on if they can be removed. I don't really, really like them. Um, since I got a cat, if the cat starts dragging them around all of a sudden, uh, the blade itself is lost or something, which is kind of annoying. Um, figure here, yeah. I see. I really, really like this one. This is a spot, a, a huge uh, soft goods skirt, which actually just seems to fit her very, very well. It's uh, creating some sort of, some sort of uh, fabric that makes it uh, look a bit worn, which is really cool, in fact. Uh, so, apart from the articulation, Hasbro has really been, been doing something with this figure. I'll just let you see, uh, let you see the stand here a bit better it looks like something from aboard a ship or perhaps inside the uh, the room where Anakin slaughters all the um, separatist leaders not certain packaging him it's actually really cool I really like this uh, Revenge of the Sith packaging and also the the, um, the honor over here it's pretty cool uh, I'll just read from the back then. Jedi Master Shakti is an esteemed member of the Jedi Council and serves as a general in the Clone Wars. Like all Togruta, she has long head tails called Leku that have particular pigment patterns. Togruta, I'm not certain I got that one right, but <coughs> well, go rant me about that if I am not if I'm not right. So then, um, just uh, as a katana, as I just reviewed. It's kind of like an, it's a younger version of the same race. They also look a bit similar. 
So of course the cell gets smaller and have been developed those legu really full on. Also one thing that comes with comes with it, uh, I don't really know what this is, but it just full on. It's this little thing here. It's one of those extra things that always comes with these figures. And to be honest, as I said, I don't know what this is. It looks kinda like a game like a Game Boy, but I have no idea what a Game Boy would do in Star Wars. Seriously. Why would they want a Game Boy? I'll just give you a last look here on the figure. As you can see, the detail has been pretty well cared for on this figure. So in fact there's only one Jedi left I really, really, really want, and that's Isla Sakura. But we might be seeing a figure for soon enough in the Clone Wars line. Since she's been in the recent uh, episode. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this one, and um, until the next time, which will probably first be next week or something. Uh, may the force be with you all. Then.